Did you know that without balanced forces, buildings would collapse? Hi everyone, this is Mr. Lara, and in this video we will learn about balanced and unbalanced forces. Newton's first law of motion states that an object at rest will stay at rest and an object in motion will stay in motion with the same direction and speed unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. But what are balanced and unbalanced forces? When a pair of forces cancel each other out, their net force is zero, creating a balanced force. An example of a pair of balanced forces is gravity and reactionary force. When a dog stands up on all its legs, the force of gravity of the earth and the reactionary force of the dog's legs cancel each other out. A car that is stationary is another example. If the car is not moving, it means that there is a balanced force acting upon it. If one force acting on the car is greater than the other, the car will move in the direction of the stronger force. What is net force and how is it calculated? When we add all the forces acting on any object, the resulting sum will be its net force. If the net force is zero, then the forces are balanced. If it is not equal to zero, then they are unbalanced. When two forces act in opposite directions on an object, the net force is calculated by subtracting the forces. The object will move in the direction of the stronger force. When two or more forces act in the same direction on an object, the net force is calculated by adding the forces. As the object moves in the direction of the net force, its speed increases. When an object is in motion, there's a force between both surfaces that opposes motion, known as friction. Friction always acts in a direction opposite to that of motion. That's why we kick a ball, it stops rolling after some time. Otherwise, the ball would continue to move forever. Now, if there were no force acting upon the ball, such as if it were to be kicked in outer space, with the exception of no force of gravity, it would continue moving forever. Let's look at some scenarios to better understand this. An object is at rest and its net force is zero. For example, a book resting on a table. In this example, the force of gravity acting on the book is balanced. Since the net force is zero, the object will continue to stay at rest and not move. An object is in motion and its net force is zero. For example, an object moving in the absence of any other forces, such as friction or gravitational, its inertia will keep it in motion and it will maintain a constant speed even if the net force acting on it is zero. An object is at rest and the net force greater than zero is applied to it. For example, when a ball is kicked, the ball will no longer remain at rest but will move in the direction of the greater force. An object is in motion and its net force is not zero. In this case, the object will experience a change in motion. Depending on the direction of the greater force, the speed or direction of the object will change. For example, when a gas pedal is pressed on a car that is moving, since its net force is greater than zero and it's in the direction of the motion of the vehicle, its speed increases. Two or more forces in the same direction act on an object. In this case, the net force will be the sum of all the forces acting in that direction. If a body is at rest, it will start moving in the direction of the forces. If a body is in constant motion, then the speed of the motion will increase in the direction of the net force. Twin engines on a jet are an example of this. Both create a force in the same direction that help the jet move. So you might be wondering, what is speed and how is it calculated? When an unbalanced force is applied to an object at rest, then the object will start moving in the direction of the stronger force. To find the speed of the moving object, we need to divide the distance the object traveled by the time taken by the object to travel that distance. The formula is S is equal to D divided by T. For example, a car that traveled 200 miles in 4 hours was traveling at a speed of 50 miles per hour. We simply need to divide the total distance, which is 200, by the time, which was 4 hours. 200 divided by 4 is 50. The car traveled 50 miles per hour. Let's review what we just learned. 
When the net force is zero, the forces are balanced. When the net force is not zero, the forces are unbalanced. A balanced force does not affect the state of motion of the object. An unbalanced force affects the state of motion of an object. If an unbalanced force acts upon an object at rest, it will move in the direction of the greater force. If it is in motion, its speed and direction will be changed. If two or more forces in the same direction act upon an object, then the speed of the motion will increase in the direction of the net force. Friction is a force that acts in the opposite direction to the motion of an object. Speed is equal to the total distance divided by time.